Good morning, welcome to today's video. I have an OB appointment, my 38 week appointment, but it's more like 39 weeks because I'm 39 weeks in two days. Crazy to think about. Um, but I'm gonna head off and get my eyebrows done super quick. I woke up at six, took Lulu on a walk before it gets too hot because it's been, <laughs> we've had like severe heat warnings and stuff because, or extreme heat warnings because it's been in the high 90s and then it feels like it's like 110. Very humid. It's, we have a heat dome, I think is what they said. Anyway, so I've been taking her on, I mean, I always take her on morning walks, but we've, I've been prioritizing the morning walks or else she just doesn't get much exercise aside from being inside and playing. So took her on a walk. I just filmed. This was the hydro jug I was going to show you, or the sleeve I was going to show you in the last video that I didn't know if I could or not. Isn't it so cute? It's like state of mind or something. Uh, it's cute. The box said state of mind, so I don't know if that's like the line, but it's very cute, very summery. But yeah, let's go head off, get our eyebrows done, and then we have our OB appointment after I think Chris is able to come and see if I'm progressing at all. I'm so excited to meet her. His coworker had his baby well his wife had their baby girl last night at like 9 38 and then one of the other girls on instagram her due date was one day before mine uh she had her baby girl yesterday as well so i'm like i can't wait to meet you it's gonna be so exciting eyebrows are done everyone in there was so sweet i mean i see myself obviously every day so i'm like i know i've gotten bigger but being out and about really shows me how obvious it is that i'm like very late in pregnancy because everyone's like oh my gosh any day now <laughs> like how do you know like you look like it um but eyebrows super happy with them i am not consistent about getting my eyebrows done at all it's just i them from time to time and I feel like I'm blessed with pretty good eyebrows they're nice and thick it's pretty easy to maintain the shape but I feel good having these done I'm gonna head home get a little bit of work done and then we have our OB appointment if we have the baby or if you before not or five five, five or six uh we just pulled up to the hospital for the appointment do you think I'm more dilated or no I've been one I centimeter the max two centimeters dilated max it feels like i'm 100 percent of face <laughs> i don't know what that feels like it, i don't know i think I don't... you're i think you're 100 percent faced and a centimeter and a half to two centimeters dilated that's my guess we'll yeah. see i would obviously. say two to three centimeters if i've dilated it all more so let's go let's see. do it appointment went well um i am still one centimeter dilated her head is still right there <laughs> um blood pressure, everything tested, totally fine. That's good. And I did end up having the membrane sweep done because she said it's basically like a 50-50 chance of if it's going to help induce labor like naturally in that basically because I'm once again, two days away from being 39 weeks. If the membrane sweep is gonna work, it's gonna happen within 72 hours. If I go into labor after that, that's just like me going into labor on my own. Like that's how it was gonna happen anyway. She was like, because you're so close to 39 weeks and if like you really wanna go into labor naturally, we can do it today and then we can do it again at your next appointment, which I would be two days from being 40 weeks which can help like increase the chances too. And then if that still doesn't work, I would get induced on Friday, July 1st, because I'd be 41 weeks on the second. So that would be our Friday date night if that ends up happening and if I have to get induced. But anyway, we'll see. Chris and I were just kind of like, well, I guess if I'm like progressing a little bit naturally, I won't have the membrane sweep done and then, you know, we would have it done at the next appointment. But after she examined me, she was like, still one centimeter. She's like, nothing's wrong with that. It's totally, once again, personal preference. And Chris and I both decided, like, why not go for it? So it was not painful. I know everyone's different. Um, it was just a lot of pressure, but I didn't think it was painful at all. Very easy. And yeah, if I would have had my 38-week appointment on, like, Monday 
where I was actually, like I wasn't close to being 39 weeks full term, I wouldn't have had it done, but I'm so close. I was like, might as well. So got home, made a bagel. I'm gonna eat, do a bunch of computer work. Have a productive day. day last night or just yesterday I ended up recording the third trimester q and I finished editing the Lululemon bikini haul exported uploaded that recorded the third trimester q and edited exported uploaded that that just went up this morning so I did a bunch of computer work yesterday which is why you didn't see much of me I did have more Braxton Hicks contractions last night I'm just like <laughs> very on edge waiting for labor basically but the good news is i didn't go into labor before my hair appointment because i'm about to head in get my hairs did um we went on a little over a mile walk with lulu this morning trying to get some movement in i haven't worked out the past couple days because i've been trying to knock out work and i've been getting walks in and that's kind of just been good enough for me so we'll see if i end up working out later today but yeah let's go get hair done i'm just gonna do the same thing probably have her trim the ends a little bit if she thinks I need it and then touch up my roots so we're nice and blonde. freaking hot I have had like a headache and have just still been really congested today which has been annoying but I was having a bunch of Braxton Hicks contractions I sat outside for a little bit and then I was having a bunch of Braxton Hicks contractions which if you're dehydrated that can bring on more so I tried tracking them but they still weren't painful at all and then I took a nap for what like two hours something like that yeah with the doggo and Logan <laughs> It's very cute. I feel like that's what that's what it's gonna look like when we bring the baby home. Everyone's just gonna be snoozing on the bed. Um, but we just had Rebel for dinner and Alyssa sent us crumble cookies. So we're gonna stop and get some ice cream and then have cookies and ice cream when we go back. Woo! And chill. Woo! He did uh, Murph again. I did a very, no, I didn't do Murph. I just well, did a similar type workout. Yeah, but that's his thing is he's doing a version of Murph or like a similar kind of workout, like once a week. Yeah, you're getting better. I am getting better. The running is getting better, except my knees and my ankles are getting more. <laughs> it's like so. he's like, my knees should not be like this already. <laughs> they, they hurt. I need Ben Patrick's help. Those of you who don't know Ben Patrick, I don't know him very well either, but I'm say he's I don't the. Know. Uh, He's the knees over toes guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, maybe I'll maybe I'll buy his. I think he has some kind of program, like I think starter program. First maybe things first, you need to start stretching. Probably, <laughs> probably help you. Yeah. Because he never stretches. You don't ever do like a warm up or a cool down. Well, you I guess you do warm up lifting. I warm up. I warm up my run. shoulders before every lifting session. Yeah. For a run, <laughs> I do like. I get warm yeah. before I start running, but I don't stretch. Anyway, we're gonna go giant eagle. M&M cookie. 
I believe this is supposed to, same thing, I thought this was supposed to have more topping. I think this is the Reese's cookie, obviously chocolate chip, and then I think this is Twix. This is, sorry. I'm an M cookie, I was assuming I'd love. Just like the chocolate chip, both m ms We got home and immediately took her out to play ball because she had so much energy. And now she's panting. Is there It's more like a peanut butter cookie than anything else. All right, Twix, lots of caramel. Not a favorite. m ms probably the best. Oh, you need dinner. She right. says, <clears throat> m and I think this was supposed to have top Wait, another what's in topping this one? on it too. <laughs> I'm joking. It's obviously m ms It's just like an m m version of that, I think. It's a classic m m cookie. Mm -hmm. It's good, it's soft, mm -hmm. not too sweet. I like it a lot. It's it's like, it lets the m m do its job. Mm -hmm. This is the Reese. Reese's. Reese, I can say that. It's not Reese. I think there's supposed to be something on top though. I thought there was supposed to be chocolate. Maybe that's just a peanut butter cookie, yeah? Yeah, not my thing. It's too dry. Twix. None of these are really my thing. They're good, but I wouldn't go out of my way to order these again. Or is that Butterfinger? Not Butterfinger, Snicker, no. It's gotta be Twix, cause that's like- No, this is, that seems like more of a Snickers. Snickers? Well- No, Snickers would have nuts. I think it's Twix. Okay, yeah. Cause those look like nuts, but they're not. The cookie itself, I didn't think was as good. The m and is really good. Alyssa knew- m and is good. Yeah, that I would like that. So she got two m and and two chocolate chip, and then two of the other ones to try. m and is good. I would eat this. Oh, I need the whole thing. I need all of them. Not my favorite. Well, the peanut butter is just not my favorite. heavy. <laughs> It's too dry, in my opinion. It was kind of dry. 6.6. 6. What? What do you mean? 4.9, 5.5. No, this is 7.6. Mm, M&M's really good. All right, we are gonna go chill, and I'm gonna have some ice cream. Woo! And have just a good, relaxing night. situation 140 on father's day we were at lunch with chris's parents and his family and i think i lost my full mucus plug yesterday but that doesn't really mean anything and we were sitting there and i was like mm. <laughs> something happened but it didn't feel like what it felt like when i lost my mucus plug but i also knew i didn't pee myself and there was definitely something when we got home it's just like you know clear liquid like you would expect. <laughs> yeah. Is it happening? We don't know. So I called the doctor who's on call and she basically said, she was like, you've got two options. You can wait and see if it keeps leaking, which I changed my underwear and it still seemed like there was something. But TMI, during pregnancy, your discharge is very weird anyway. So it's kind of hard to tell. She was like, your other option is to go in. Um, you'll just go to like the triage center and they'll do a little swab test on you basically to see if it's amniotic fluid. They will be able to tell even if it's a small leak. So that's what we're going to do, which means we have to have our bags ready to go. Yes, we do, sweet pea. 
so I think we have everything. Chris just, he had all, he got all of his stuff ready yesterday, but hadn't actually put it in a bag. So <sighs> we're gonna head off. And this poor girl has already been in her crate twice. My dad gets back from the lake today and the plan for labor or like when we're gone was to have him watch her. So definitely once we figure out what it is, I don't wanna like send people into a excited panic, whatever, until we know for sure. So. But the other thing is we're supposed to go to a movie for my dad, with my dad for Father's Day at three. Yeah, it's 1.41, so we're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, and I don't wanna like lie to them and say, no, I can't come because of Well, no, something. we should hear back before, so. Okay. We're gonna go to the hospital real quick. See what's going on. If it's labor, how exciting. What an exciting Father's Day for Christopher. Yeah. And if, not... and if it's not, I'm just gonna be even more confused <laughs> because, I don't know, we'll see. This poor girl, she thinks she's going. Oh man, I forgot to update um, when we got back. <laughs> not in labor. Okay, yeah. Water did not break. Um, I'm glad we went because my doctor or the doctor on call said like, you have to be better safe than sorry in these situations. And she was, <laughs> I was like, it's my first time. So I don't know, like maybe it's just me. And she was like, no, it's really common. There's like some new parents just, or just moms in general, like expecting moms, even who have kids already, go to the hospital multiple times to see if their water broke, because if it did, you obviously have to stay there. And if you're unsure, the only way to make sure of that is to go have this like swab thing done and they test it. So my water did not break, but that was a little discouraging only because now I'm just more confused on what to look for. And I feel like I'm just gonna be like so on edge over the next little less than two weeks, basically until she's here or until I for sure know what's happening. But it was good because we got to come home to Lulu and she wasn't in her crate literally all day. So we're gonna go on a walk. I took a nap. Did you hear that? Absolutely. No, Absolutely. I, I, they. I came in and like, oh, I gotta, I gotta park. I tried to get out of the way. No, they didn't work. Sorry. Are you ready to go on a walk? We oh, is this for some... my girl? Ooh. <laughs> Come here. I haven't picked you up today. Come here. I haven't picked you up today. <laughs> Thank you. She napped with me the whole time on the couch. Ah! <laughs>